Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So I finished the Cosmic Horror side quest, and I got 10,000 six-star shards, and I had a bunch of shards uh, saved up, and I promised on stream, because I did do it live, I promised on stream that as soon as I had enough for two, I would have a crystal opening. I didn't realize I was so close to having uh, enough for two. So when I looked again, I was able to purchase uh, 2000 from the incursions uh, store. And that allowed me to uh, get enough for two six stars. So what we're gonna do in this video, I'm gonna open up the six stars first, get the crystal opening out of the way. And then afterwards, because that's not gonna take a lot of time, I'll show you some highlights from the live stream, I'll show you some of the better fights uh, that I did on the final path and the uh, boss fight. All right, so let's get started. So first off, let's do a little pet method for no reason except that it's fun. All right, and we're going to pop open at the bottom a list of champions that I want the most, starting from the left to the right. Uh, for the most part, Shang-Chi, Apocalypse, Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh, Hitmonkey, and Professor X. Those are my most wanted champions. Now, on the right-hand side, those are the champions that I want to dupe the most. They're not awakened, and Silver Surfer is at the top of that list. If I could awaken my Silver Surfer uh, my prestige will go crazy high. I've been waiting to put Sig Stones into him. Right now, there's a Cosmic Advancement on. So that would be perfect. I've got like 46 uh, Cosmic Sig Stones waiting for him. All right. And then we've got Nick Fury, who, you know, without him being awakened, I'm going to be using the five star. He only needs to be awakened. That's it. One awakening and we're done. Uh, he's not uh, rank three yet, but if I can get him awakened, <clears throat> he's going to go up there. <clears throat> All right. And then we've got uh, King Groot, who is much better awakened. Uh, we've got Kingpin, who I already took to rank three, already killing it for me. Um, but he'll be even better if I can awaken him. And then we've got Captain America Infinity War, who I have as a five star. But... Um, five star is SIG 200. Uh, and of course this cap is not awakened yet. Uh, and it would be a long time before I took that cap all the way up. Uh, because if I need the utility, I'm going to go with the five star. All right. It's on the spinner and let's see what we can get now. Right now, uh, I believe I have 110. Uh, I know I'm one off from uh, being able to have even arena teams. And the last few openings have all been dupes. So maybe we'll get a new champion. If, if I don't get a champion that's on that list, I would love to get a new one. All right, first one, what do we have? A new champion or a dupe? Actually, you know what? It's a dupe, but I'm actually okay with that dupe because Star-Lord is annoying to use when he's not awakened. He is so annoying uh, in, in, um, in the arena. So I'm actually okay with that. You know, maybe he'll get a buff one of these days, you know, but I'm, I'm okay with that dupe. Now, I don't need to have him duped another time, but I'm okay with that dupe. All right, we're still, you know, I might bring back my uh, dupe counter now that I have so many six stars dupes are more likely you know so i might bring back the dupe counter uh not not for this video but you know maybe for future six star videos i might do that um but yeah we, we're on a dupe streak right now uh and i can't even blame them i had some crazy good luck uh, and, uh, even the dupe, I got a, a human torch out of a cavalier crystal and that awakened him, you know, so can't complain. 
you got to take the good with the bad, you know? And there you have the facts of life. But anyway, uh, last six star. Can we get a new champion? Even up my arena teams. Come on, somebody. Okay. Uh, not a new one, but it awakens her. That was weird. I thought it was actually going to go over and uh, stop on Mr. Negative. And I would have been like, oh, yeah, you know, we got a new champion at least and even up the arena teams. Um, but it looks like uh, for at least the time being, I'm probably going to have to rely on the arena and do some basic grinds if I want to start expanding my roster. Because uh, with the number of six stars that I have, I'm probably going to keep getting a lot more dupes. Uh, but that was the first time awakening for Tigra. Not upset about that. Um, and a first time awakening for Star Lord. Definitely not upset about that. It'll make him uh, faster in the arena. All right. So that is it for the crystal opening portion. And now I'm going to show you guys, you know, a couple of, you know, not not many, but just a couple of nice fights uh, that I that I had in the uh, side quest, and then the uh, final boss fight. All right. So. We'll be right back. All right. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Give me that. Give me that healing. Give me that healing. Yummy, back to full. Finish this up. Schlaren, what's up, man? How you doing?
All right. All right, so that is it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed yourself, if you enjoyed the fighting, enjoyed the crystal opening, feel free to hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the side quest. What was your experience with the side quest? How did you like that final fight? Uh, I found Null to be the easiest of all the fights. Uh, it might be because I had the Annihilate and, you know, I was already, you know, buffed up with all of those pre-fights. So we were able to keep his power down so we didn't have to deal with any of his reverse controls or any specials. So definitely, definitely the easiest fight that I had to do. All right. But leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.